I guess that stream wasn't the best. Okay, let's do this again. Mm. All right, say goodbye to everyone with your with your tail. Uh, buddy's tail, the last 1.5 centimeters are going to get amputated today. I know, I know. Because it's causing too much uh, complications and we've, gave it, we've given it a lot of time. And weighing everything, all the pros and cons, um, it's still the best to actually amputate that little bit of his tail because he's been on. Hey, Eric, yo, how's it going? Long time we'll see. So this is my new house, by the way. Ah, yeah, he's a little bit grumpy. He's a little bit grumpy. Can you hear him? He's a little bit grumpy. There's a reason about that because um, in yesterday, for the last 24 hours, like 24 hours before this 24 hours, his bandage fell off three times and he got blood all over the place. He was bleeding massively. Um, and uh, it was really traumatic for all my cats, him and me. Um, so now he's a little bit nervous when I hold him because he thinks that uh, the the bandage is gonna be like replaced. Yeah, he's just nervous. He's just really nervous right now. But I'm trying to uncondition him uh, to think that when I hold him, it's not about ooh, it's not about bandage changes. It's not about bandage changes. But he can't eat or drink water since 3:30 um, last night. Yep. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing going on, nothing going on. Okay. And I have to deprive all of my cats uh, at home, everyone, or take a, take a look. They haven't been eating or drinking since 3.30 last night. And they're wondering, I know he's so upset. He is. And this is where the food dish used to be. Um, have to be at the doctor, let's see, in about Let's see, in about, oh my God, in about an hour, in about an hour. Yeah, but the cats don't get to eat or drink at home, although I did sneak them some water this morning. Hey, say hi to Uncle Daniel. Dad, they're going to the space where the food dish used to be. They're like, where's the food? Buddy, no, I even got rid of the crumbs in case he got into it. They're not very happy. So Carlos, he's like, where's the food? They were following me all, all morning today. And um, Mui Mui is in hibernation mode to conserve energy. Yeah, he's so big. He's really big. He's actually probably gonna be my alpha cat at home. He's gonna replace his place in terms of being the alpha cat. Yep. And even the, the water dishes I got rid of, um, because they just can't drink anything. And everyone's just in energy conservation mode right now. I'm sorry, kiddos, they don't understand. And last night I had to go to the kitchen, I had to go to the kitchen to actually like sneak buddy food and water before uh, the 12 hour cutoff. And he's like, whoa, it's like, why are you, why are you like feeding me at this time of the day? And then go, go find out, like he found out I was sneaking him food and he got really jealous. Yeah, yeah, call me after. Cool. I'm gonna get to see um, Uncle Daniel's, Uncle Daniel's uh, dogs. Oh yeah, so Blue Cat has been peeing in my bathtub and as a result, she would step on her pee and bring it to the house. So I got these little carpet squares. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Oh, oh, thank you. Yay! I'll put that towards his vet bill. But um, Eric, uh, next time I, I this is um, is the same thing for um, Uncle Daniel too. Last time he gave me something on Super Chat, and it turned out that YouTube actually takes fifty five percent of it. So yeah. Um, so if anything, pay it to my Patreon, um, not to the Super Chat, because YouTube takes all of it. But thank you, I'll put that money towards his vet bill. It's, it's quite crazy, actually, his vet bill. Oh, but um, yeah, how do you guys like my new place? Did I, did I show you my new place? Um, yeah, well, <laughs> everything's all over the place. It's all their toys and stuff. Um, I designed this myself. I'll do an official video of it after, but this is a quick Snapchat. 
or Snapchat snapshot. No, it's a uh, 55% for uh, for the super chat. It's crazy. They're freaking like blood suckers. So if anything, um, put it on my Patreon. Patreon only takes like about 10% or 15%. So more of that money can actually go towards the vet bill. And uh, yeah, but thank you, thank you, Eric. That's so sweet of you. Let's see, where's where's Buddy? Buddy, thank you. Thanks, Key Talk. Here you go, Buddy. Did you say hi? To Eric, he actually put some money towards your vet bill. And, oh yeah, you guys um, and girls, if you haven't added my other account, it's called Mellow Cat Live. Um, add that right now because in the future, all my live is going to there. Um, so if you're in front of the, front of the computer right now, um, type Mellow Cat Live. Um, Mellow Cat, one word, live, second word. Um, that's where all my live stream is going to be in the future. Uh because I need to keep my uh, chat separate from my channel because it gets a really bit like a, a bit confusing when people come into my channel and then it gets like bombarded um, with my what I call it it gets bombarded with my live chat they can't really see my videos um, but lately you know I I'm still alive but I've been doing um, a very intensive course right now it's uh, learning how to like maintain my YouTube channel to make it. Uh, easier for people to navigate through to optimize it uh, a bit more so it becomes a bit more polished yeah it's 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 still really early I'm sorry but 40 47 it's actually all you guys it's all of my I think the first 100 in there is probably like my most loyal um, you know um, subscribers that's from the the cat family here because you know who else is gonna like subscribe to that not knowing that it even exists right and there's not many videos on there but uh you know so yeah so you guys please do i'll until i start to use that for my live stream i'll mention every time on uh, my live that it's gonna be on there yeah i think that's a good idea but yeah i i didn't get much sleep last night i i have like these crazy like my eyes can't even open up i woke up at 3 30 last night i didn't sleep until like 7 this morning and then um, I woke up at like 11, so it was kind of like groggy sleep. Um, but this guy, I'm probably just gonna wait outside um, the vet for his surgery to complete because, oh, you like the documentary? Oh, thank you. Um, it's a bit different than how I usually edit stuff, but I, I promise you guys, my videos will get better. Um, because I'll be putting a lot more effort into my channel. That's why I'm not posting anything lately is because I've been learning how to edit it better and um, to give you guys a better experience. So I'm finishing up the course first before I um, publish my next video. But yeah, that's it. Because the vet doesn't know how to uh, wrap his tail up nearly as well. Um, because, you know, I've been doing it for the past nine months. But anyway, so I'll be outside of the vet. I'll be waiting for him and um it always makes me a little bit nervous when animals you like the hong kong tour yeah I'll, I'll try to do that one again i really like that one too i had such a good time um but it always makes me a little bit nervous when animals are put um, under general anesthesia because there's a chance that they'll never wake up from it which really worries me i know there's a slim chance but as like a cat parent or a parent of any sort just makes me it just it just scares the heck out of me right you know it's almost like hey we're gonna we're gonna give you anesthesia but there's a chance that you'll never wake up from it but anyway i think he'll be fine um i'll be waiting outside yeah i want me to be the first person the last person that he sees before he goes under and then the first person that he sees as soon as he wakes up yeah yeah i think i'll be fine anyway you guys um I'm gonna get going now because I have to get his cage and stuff ready. He's not willing to, to use the pouch anymore. He's kind of big now. And I gotta get his bandages and stuff. So you guys uh, say goodbye to Burrito's tail, that little bit. And the next time you see him, hopefully it's going to be a full recovery. I'll give you guys updates in the meantime. Do you guys remember him sleeping like this as a kid? How his leg kind of sticks out like that? You know, there's a story behind that. Pet him for yes, I will, Eric. Actually, I'll do that as we speak. Eric, thank you, thank you so much. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah, everyone, please pray for Bredo. Okay, well, he's biting me. 
See, I got a scratch really bad. My arms got banged up pretty bad last time. He was in a lot of pain. Look at the bruises at the back of my hand. Um, it was from him attacking me when he was in pain because I had to wrap up his bloody tail. Like literally bloody tail. Okay, anyway, there it is. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no bitey cat, no bitey cat, nobody cat. I don't know where he got this wild side from, but anyway, see you guys. Uh, see you, Eric. Thanks again. Um, key talk. It's good. It's good seeing you guys. I'm so sorry. Like I haven't been on, uh, but I promise I'll be on more often. And don't forget, add my other channel, okay? And uh, see you, Uncle Daniel. See you, Travels of the Cat. Bye. See you guys. Say goodbye to.